Hello, I'm Katie Kambler, MU Extension Horticulture Specialist, talking today about insect damage to fruit crops. So it's important to know the mouth parts of the insect to determine insect ID and also what kind of damage they might cause to the fruit crop. So we have chewing insects. So the example in the picture here is a beetle, but also caterpillars have chewing mouth parts. Piercing sucking is kind of like a beak or a straw where they pierce a fruit or leaf and suck out the plant juices. Knowing the life cycle of an insect is also important because some stages make that insect easier to control. Also, some stages might cause damage where a different stage might not. So an example of this would be a caterpillar usually cause damage from chewing where the adult, such as a butterfly or moth, might not cause any damage and might actually be beneficial as a pollinator. So an example here of some chewing insects are on the left, we have green June beetle, typically get on fruit that is overripe, as the example here on blackberries. Japanese beetles, like all of our fruit crops, typically their chewing damage is on leaves. They basically can skeletalize leaves. And the example here is grapes. They will also get on fruit if it's available, but typically they do a lot of damage on the leaves. Another example is plum cucurlio. So it has a piercing sucking mouth part. So in the picture below the insect, you can actually see a round hole that's feeding damage, but they also do damage from laying their eggs. So the little crescent shaped uh, wound on the fruit is actually the ovipositor where they're laying their eggs. Stink bugs, another example of piercing, sucking mouth parts. So they suck out the plant juices. So if you notice off color, or in this case, you can see in the blackberry, those droplets that are kind of collapsed, that can be feeding damage. Also white areas can show up from that. And stink bugs can damage all of our fruits. Uh, something that we also see is cicada damage, and the example at the top is a twig. The damage is not from feeding. It is from their laying eggs in the twigs. And when we get periodical cicadas in large populations, we can see lots of twig damage. The bottom is a common one uh, called grape phylloxera, and the insects cause these galls. And some varieties of grapes are more able to withstand this than others, but they can cause a tremendous amount of damage from that injury that causes those galls. Another common one is spotted wing drosophila. This is an invasive species that we have been dealing with for several years. And it causes damage, once again, by laying eggs in ripe fruit, and then the larva hatch into the fruit, which you can see in that right-hand picture. So all of these are just some examples of the different mechanisms of insects, common ones that can damage fruit, and what kind of damage they cause. But don't forget, not all insects are bad, and particularly for fruit, we need our beneficial insect pollinators, so we have that fruit to begin with.